In the beginning, there was man. And man, did he have problems. But he tried to solve them just as you and I. And when he did solve them, he didn't know it, just as you and I. But man and civilization and the wheel moved forward. And wheeler dealers like this chap helped. Until finally, modern know-how took over. And look what happened. You might call this a test for Sunday drivers. And the winner gets a free ticket to the freeway of his choice. But wheels have other uses. This young man is Sonny Leander Fox. Leander is a young man who wants to go places. And he will. He's a racing man by trade and by day. But at night, he moonlights by hauling moonshine. This practice is frowned on by the Internal Revenue men, who believe that alcohol and gasoline shouldn't mix. But a car like Leander's isn't just a bearer of booze. Souped-up getaway cars like this were used on weekends for competitive racing. The birth of stock car racing. started in the south, then swept the country all the way from the east coast to sunny California. The men in races like these are experts, the real pros. And here is one of them. His name is Dave Owen. He's young, but he's good. And he's coming up. And like Leander, he's a young man who wants to be noticed. He will be. They call this the proving ground for the automotive industry. It's the steel. They have to test it. How much can it take? Your leaders are Dave Owens in time for 43. The second spot to E.D. Martin. And third place held down by Charlie Freeman. Watch it, James Kirby in time for 10. And Lawson in turn number 5. And the battle still goes on for that first place. With Dave Owens holding a 12-second lead over Charlie Garland in time number 45. Keep your eye on Ed Stern in that 0-5 car. He's having handling problems in the engine. But the driver is okay. And now the 178 is still Dave Owens in the lead. Hold it. Get smiling. and going into turn nine too fast. He's lost and over and over. High into the air and over the wall. We'll give you a report on this driver as soon as possible. Going across the start-finish line. It's still Dave Owens in the Plymouth, number 43, out in front. With a 14-second lead over second place, car number 45. Dave Owens starting to stretch the lead, gaining two seconds in that last lap. These drivers are reaching speeds of 165 miles an hour down the back straightaway. Can young Dave Owens keep up his ruling pace? Car number 29 in trouble, down at turn number 8. He's in trouble, and Johnny Huff, Bob Hosey, and car number 33 is clear up over the wall. There's the signal from turn number 9. Bob Hosey is okay. Joe Jackson off of the track in car number 162, and he's all right. We're on to the final lap, and out of turn number nine comes your leader, Dave Owens, in car number 43. What a great driving job this Dave Owens has done today, beating the cream of stock car racing. And five hours of racing comes to a close. Here's the checkered flag, and for the first time, a rookie has won the Riverside 500. But that's not all that wheels are used for. They're used for work. And they're used for pleasure. Ow! Papa! 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 Come back here, baby. Hey! I 
I come. I'm a racing son of a gun. I'm the fastest under the sun. Fireball 500, where I go, you know it's wild. A 500 or a fast country mile. Revved up and born, running dead on a style. Fireball 500, love it and living like a loving man. Living and loving fast as I can. That's why they call me a traveling man. Fireball 500 with a girl by my side. I'm a lover, I'm for a ride. Know how to keep her satisfied. Fireball 500.